Joining me now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence is one of the men that's going to be a part of Valor Fights 43 coming up on May the 6th. Of course, this will be Valor card that they're doing a co-promotion event with Warrior FC. It is Ben Sargent, who is 6-0 in his career. He takes on Steve Bell, who is 3-7. and Ben, I appreciate time. How's it going, man? Doing pretty good, man. How are you? I am doing very good. Uh, you know, we're just uh, a couple weeks out here from the event. So what's uh, what's preparations like so far uh, in, in terms of this fight where, you know, you're fighting a guy who, who has a, you know, does not have a great record? Yeah, everything's, uh, preparation's going great. Uh, my cardio and uh, hard training's already done. Uh, just doing last minute preps. Um, yeah, uh, Steve Bell doesn't have the, uh, the best of records. Uh, I think he, uh, a lot of the fighters that fight him, they take advantage of, uh, I think about the lack of his ground game and, uh, taking down and going and submitting. Um, I think a lot of fighters do that. Mm. I'm not one of those fighters. I like to, um, if you research any of my fights, look me up. I fight. I, I go in there and I, uh, throw my hands and kick and do everything and I uh, that's why I'm gonna fight I wanna fight Steve Bell. I don't just wanna uh take him down and hug him. So um everybody that comes out they're they're gonna see uh you know what Steve Bell does have to offer and uh, they're also gonna see what I have to offer as well, you know. I was listening to your interview on the Valor Hour, which is also available here on, on RadioInfluence.com, where you, you talked about this is actually a matchup that it was a while ago that Steve Bell's like, hey, I'm going to fight you at some point. And uh, did, you, did you ever actually think it was going to happen based on you know where you're at in your career and, and where he's at? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I kind of felt like it was going to happen earlier. But uh, I guess it didn't. A couple things, I guess, fell through, and I was doing my own thing. Um, but I mean, he's, uh, he's a man of his word. So, you know, he's stuck with it and, uh, you know, we did fight, we are fighting. So, uh, you know, he's not a many, not many people are uh, a man of their word in this sport. And uh, I guess he's, uh, he's definitely a man of his word and I, I appreciate that, you know? I was watching a mini mini documentary that was done on you a couple of years ago, and I found there were two things that came out that you know said something about you. You said, first off, you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me. So, first off, why would someone hate you? I'm a very uh, uh, black and white uh, person. Um, you know, I either, you know, I, I don't sugarcoat things. I don't, uh, I don't try to get people to like me if they don't like me. And, uh, if, you know, if somebody doesn't like me, I don't understand it. And it, uh, it, I don't know, I guess I kind of, uh, tend to pick at people, <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a very extreme personality and, uh, you definitely, you know, you definitely, definitely either, either like me or you don't. And anyone that goes on the mixed martial arts.com, they'll, they'll see the fact though this is your first fight since October of 2015. So, so what's been going on over the last uh, year and a half or so, man, just going through, uh, I, I went through a little funk there. Um, I was supposed to be in the ultimate fighter where they were, they did the, uh, what was it? Two years ago, they were supposed to do the, uh, ultimate fighter, 155, 170. Mm -hmm. And they ended up just doing, they ended up cutting the 70, which I was, I mean, I was in, and uh, they ended up cutting a 50, 70, and they had the 55, and that kind of put me in a funk. And uh, the executive producer told me, hey, wait, uh, we're going to contact you September. Be ready September. They never called me, and I was just like, ah, kind of put me in a funk. And I was out in uh, L.A. at the time, and, you know, I did, I did a lot of uh, stand-up comedy and had fun. Took a little break from uh, fighting uh had some fun and uh, just took a break and really you know worked on my uh, injuries and you know enjoyed the world for the first time and you know in many many years just you know took a break and enjoyed myself and now I'm back also in, in that mini documentary that I was talking about it, it talked about uh how uh you're not a big TV guy but you, you like to, to sit down and, and do puzzles so uh have you been working on any puzzles recently besides the puzzle of Steve Bell? <laughs> that's a uh, that's a nice way to put it. Um, I've been working on uh, Steve Bell very uh, 
very, very good um, down to the detail. Uh, besides him, I have not been working on a little any puzzles. I still have uh, I still have a lot, a lot. Of, I have a whole box full of puzzles that I have fans that send me when they, you know, when they saw my documentary. Uh, I still have one that I'm going to do that uh, it's it's a Harley Davidson one. <laughs> <laughs> it's t totally difficult. I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I could do it or not. It's just orange and black, and it's like a thousand uh -huh. piece puzzle. It's, it's impossible. Are you a Harley rider? No. I honestly, if anybody ever sends me puzzles or anything, all I do are uh, castles. I do castle puzzles. That's it. I love. I'm obsessed with castles. I love castles, and I do castles. But. If you send me a puzzle, I appreciate that, and it's awesome. You mentioned about uh, you know Steve and, and his past couple of fights, uh, submission losses, and feeling that you know people are trying to exploit that. Um, do you think that he he's going to sit there and, and want to have a striking matchup with you, or or do you think that he may, may try to wrestle you in this fight? He's, um, I think he's going to come out. He's going to come out strong and. Uh, I think he is going to bull rush me. Uh, he's he's more of a bull rusher, you know. Come forward no matter what. Uh, he his whole training, uh, all of his training partners and everything, they seem to uh, be wrestling more, and uh, I see that. So um, I'm no uh, I'm no stranger to you know people trying to grind me or take me down. So I'm. I'm good wherever the fight goes, honestly. You know, um, that's why that's why I'm a mixed martial artist fighter. You know, because I, I you should be good at anywhere the 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 fight goes, and that's just my cup of tea. What drew you to MMA? Uh, just like any, uh, I think the the easiest uh, response to that question is. Uh, it chooses you. It doesn't really choose, you know, you don't really choose it. It, it, it chose me at a very early age and, uh, it just, no matter what happens, it always, it always takes a hold of me and brings me back in, you know? Um, while I was in LA, I could have easily, you know, stayed into, uh, you know, stand up comedy and, you know, done acting and whatnot, but, um, it just, you know, I, I felt like when I was, you know, doing stand-up comedy, it was like I was, I was wasting my, I was wasting my life. You know, I didn't have fighting in my life at all. It was just, it was, it just felt like it was just the biggest waste of uh, life, not having mixed martial arts in my, in my life. And so I, you know, I came back to Kentucky and, and, um, you know, I got back, I got back involved with it. You know. And, of course, uh, this fight come up here on May the 6th. Valor fights 43, Valor versus Warrior FC. Ben is going to be taking on Steve Bell. Of course, you can watch this event on flowcombat.com. Anything, I mean, obviously the, the main goal is, is to go out there and get the win. Is there anything else that uh, maybe you set a personal goal for this fight uh, of something that you want to accomplish? Yeah, this personal goal, uh, I would, uh, my personal goal for this fight, I don't, I don't, I don't fight to, uh, I don't fight to win. I fight to finish. And uh, with that being said, I would um, my goal honestly would like to uh, I'd like to f finish in the first round or uh, early second round. If, if for whatever reason you end up winning by decision, would that be? Um, you know, would you you know would you be frustrated by that? Uh, I, I I take uh, decisions as losses. I don't. Anybody that takes a uh, is happy about a decision is I, I don't know even why they're honestly in the sport, but um, I, I, I'm very I'm I'm more upset about a decision than I am a loss, honestly. And uh, of course, this fight, as I mentioned, come up here on May the sixth. Valor fights forty three. Ben will be taking on Steve Bell. Anywhere my listeners can follow you out on social media. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram. I am Ben Sargent, at Ben Sargent, S-E-R-G-E-N-T, all E's, no A's. Um, you can find me on uh, Facebook, but I probably won't add you. <laughs> but just 
go uh, go to Instagram. I have some funny videos. I got uh, some funny pictures and stuff. Uh, you know, um, I have I have a lot of fun on Instagram. So hit me up on there, and I'll I'll shoot you back a follow. You know, Ben, I appreciate the time, and good luck here at Valor Fights Forty Three. Thanks, Jason. Take care, man.